What's up everybody, it's Div coming to you from the top of my tower here. See Everest, and that is V3's house down there. He's on vacation right now, but we'll get him back in here soon. Um, this will be a new series from me about Rust and all the changes that have come to it. Probably going to do a video after every major update that adds content. Uh, so look forward to doing some more of those and seeing what Rust has to offer. One of the biggest additions that I'm excited about are these metal bars right here. I learned the hard way when I first started playing that windows, well, while they're nice to be able to build up in a tower, you can definitely get raided easily. just takes one foundation and a ramp and they're inside your house. So the bars definitely add a nice dynamic that allows you to prevent people from getting in your house quite as easily. So, in addition to some content that I will cover in a little bit, they added some extra uh, admin tools. So when admins ban people, they can add a reason why they were banned, which definitely helpful. So somebody's hacking, you can put a little reason to say that's what was going on. Um, and they also, speaking of hacking, they added a bunch of countermeasures against hackers. Uh, from what I hear, there are over a thousand VAC bans going out today to people that are hacking. And they fixed the issues of being able to loot through walls. Uh, other players being able to open up your doors, and also no clipping, which was definitely an issue on this server for a little while. There were houses that got broken into with nothing being destroyed, but somehow people were able to get to loot storage areas and take everything without opening any doors, without blowing anything up, just walked in, walked out. So that's definitely good to see uh, everybody at Face Punch Studios taking the hacking seriously and taking care of things. Uh, so another content that's added is the revolver. I know they're trying to move away from being... they're trying to move away from it being so easy to get modern weapons like the M4 and the shotgun. So the revolver is one addition that makes it easier to gear up a little bit but not be way too powered in the beginning. Um, eight shots, it's more damage than 9mm pistol, which you now need to find a blueprint to for to craft. Um, a lot more recoil, but the little damage boost kind of makes it worth it. So here's one, two. Two shots to a zombie, two body shots takes out a zombie with the revolver, which is nice. Um, I know the dark zombies, it takes a headshot and a body shot, and it'll take them down. Um, I also brought a fully modded revolver with me, which looks pretty ridiculous, especially with that hollow sight on top, but makes it interesting. Oh. It is very, very quiet with the silencer on it, which come in handy defending yourself or attacking early on in the game. Um, in addition to the content, uh, they've also made it so research kits, you no longer need paper for them to use them, and also they have a chance to have more than one use, which is very very good early on in the game. Um, I've pretty much learned all that I can learn other than the bolt action rifle which I'm still looking for it. So definitely need that. Um, let's see what what else? Oh explosives. Um, in order to craft explosives now not the charges but the explosives themselves you need metal fragments which definitely definitely will help keep your base safe a little bit longer, give you some time to set up, and it prevents people from mass 
stockpiling C4 and destroying your houses. Uh, let's see. Try to kill this zombie. Wow, I am terrible at this. Let's just switch to this one instead of reloading. How about that? Wow. Okay, there we go. Uh, they've also improved some sound effects. For example, the guns don't make exactly the same sound every time you shoot them. There's a little bit of randomization to it. Which is nice and can't wait to see what they do in the future with that. Um, but if you like this idea for a series, let me know. Hit subscribe. Uh, like this video. All that good stuff. Helps me out a lot knowing when people like what I'm doing. And if you want to do play on this server, a bunch of awesome people here, I will leave the server info in the description, so you should definitely check it out. Uh, once we get a pretty good number of people online regularly, we will be turning on airdrops. I'm not an admin, but I know what's going on. And they will be turning on airdrops once we get a steady flow of people. So it gives you a little bit of time to build up a house if you're getting tired of people uh, busting down your door before you've even had a chance to set anything up. But, uh, until next patch comes out, I will see you guys later. Hopefully see you in the server. Bye!